Hey, my name's Kevin, and I just want to share a little bit about myself um, as to why I do coaching and where that came from and the life that I live. So I'm here in front of you recording in my lounge this time. So this is where I've got uh, some kids um, drawing stuff in the background. I've got a pink, massive pink unicorn uh, that belongs to my daughter. So I've got an eight-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old son, and they're amazing kids. And they've been on this journey with me as well of uh, learning a little about myself. So I'll start from the beginning. Um, I, I grew up in a family of four kids. Uh, it's a Christian family, very strict rules about how we do things and how, who we go to school with, who we bring home, who we're friends with. All that sort of stuff was, was quite strict for me. Um, and then I carried on through. I went through, did what society teaches us to do and what my parents taught me to do is to go to school, I went to university, I got a degree, I got a Bachelor of Engineering in Electronic and Computing Engineering. Um, I went and got a job, I've worked in a number of different companies um, in various roles as an engineer, um, as a team leader, as a manager, um, leading a team of engineers to create um, some amazing entertainment boats, uh, products that go on boats, and really enjoying that process of learning how to be a leader going from an engineer where you've got a leadership above you to actually being that leader, to being that manager, to supporting staff, to learning that it's not all about me and being vulnerable when things aren't going to plan or when it's not um, what I think it's going to be. It's been a real challenge to learn all that. Um, my marriage, I've been married for nearly 10 years before I separated and that happened, I've been separated for nearly eight years now. That brings all sorts of challenges into life. The questioning myself, why did this happen? How did I do it wrong? Why, did, why didn't I choose differently at the start? And what do I really want? And why don't I even go for what I want? I think we all find that there's all these limitations that we put in front of us of all the things that we can't have. Why I can't couldn't date the person that I wanted to date, why I had to follow a set of rules and settle for who was around, why I can't have the job that I want, why I can't go and start my own business and do all that sort of stuff, or why in my business am I not stepping up into the next level. All these sort of things are our own self-imposed limitations, and it's been my life working through those self-imposed limitations, understanding it, and it's not a magical switch that we can flick that suddenly makes it all good. But what it is, is learning how I can be okay with that. How I can be okay when the kids still won't do what I want them to do. But the little humans and understanding that they have their own thoughts, their own ideas, their own feelings. And I don't know everything that's going on with them and how to be um, really compassionate towards them and looking after them in a way that I want, I would have liked to have been looked after, to be loved and cared for. Learning that vulnerability of being a parent and telling my kids that, hey, I'm getting things wrong. I don't know everything. I don't know, get it all right. This is the first time I've been a parent. And the kids, it's actually really amazing being able to say that sort of thing to my kids and have my kids understand that there's no way that the parents are going to be perfect. And I get upset at times, sharing all that with my kids and being open with them. It's really empowering and that's who I am and that's who I've learned to be and that's what I'm sharing with you guys here as well is how to be okay when things are not okay, when things are going wrong, when things aren't going to plan, when whether it's in business, whether it's at home, whether it's out at a dinner or anything, anywhere in life. Things are never going to go to plan. And how can I be okay in that? So that's a little bit more about me. Um, there's a whole lot of other videos on the website here. Have a look through them, through the other sections. And I uh, hope you enjoy what you learn here.